Welcome back. It may not be Atlanta or Sydney or Salt Lake City, but for Santa Ana, it's every bit as big. The police and fire games are rolling into town for the first time ever, and so is one heck of a party. around the clock they did for hours on end all in support of a feat the likes of which Santa Ana's never seen before namely playing host to this year's police and fire gangs they're the Olympics of law enforcement nearly 10,000 officers from around the state join in on the action and this year all that action is taking place in and around Santa Ana the games are basically meant for the, uh, the officers and firefighters to come together socially and to provide some community interaction. We work, try real hard to uh, publicize the events as best we can in, in venues like this so that the community can come out and watch uh, uh, the competition. And this year, that competition takes the form of over 60 events, ranging from football to paintballing, and all of it designed to change the face of the games and involve the community. It's been a known fact that the games have really been kind of an in-house, if you will, kept to the police, kept to the fire firemen who participate in the games, and now we're actually trying to make it a community event so that everybody benefits from it. And if you're looking for proof of that community involvement is becoming a reality, look no further than the Galaxy Theater, home of the game's biggest and best fundraiser. In all, it raises seven to $10,000, not just for the games, but for several charities, up to and including the New York City Police and Fire Department Relief Fund. It's an event that underscores just how much these games mean to Santa Ana. To our department, the games mean quite a bit. They, for number one, uh, they give us opportunity of bringing law enforcement from, and fire departments from all over the state to the city to learn about the city. They also bring us the opportunity to uh, showcase the city itself and the, all the positive changes we've made as a department and to uh, have camaraderie and offer some entertainment at no cost to the uh, citizens of the community. All of which also means a tremendous undertaking on the part of the game's host, the Santa Ana Police Department. That's why seven officers have been assigned for over a year solely to making sure the events go off without a hitch. And, of course, that Britney Spears' autographed pictures are part of the silent auction. So far, they say, things are going exactly according to plan. And I've enjoyed every minute of it. It's been uh, a, a break for me uh, from my normal duties. I've been with the department for 17 years, and this is my opportunity to kind of come out and and uh, kind of get my feet wet in a whole different world that I have never been in. So it's been a challenge, um, and it's been a lot of fun. But the fun's only just begun. The police and fire games hit town the week of June 16th through the 22nd. Now, while I was doing a little schmoozing at the party, I got the inside scoop on the hottest events taking place during the week of the games. Number one on everyone's list, motocross at Centennial Park. Imported track and all. I can't wait. That's going to be it for the Santa Ana Sports Activity State. I'm Troy Kinsey in our Delphia studios. A reminder, if you'd like to email us, if you have story ideas, questions, or comments, we'd love to hear from you. Our email address is sportsatahotmail.com. And until next time, for all of us here, so long.